Uh, today we're going to make some chips here in the workshop and we're going to make uh, two uh, adapters for putting Fresnel lights onto uh, regular uh, photography light stands. Uh, this is a Fresnel light, uh, it has a bulb in it, a tungsten bulb and the Fresnel lens here. Uh, I use these for photography and I'll show you why. These are a couple of pictures I've taken. Uh, and uh, the, intentionally they look like old pictures from the 30s and one of the reasons is I've been using this tungsten light and as you can see uh, they give very sharp shadows and also uh, the light falls off to the edges in a pretty special way and you can focus that with the knob on the back of these lights they're a bit different in design but basically you can focus the beam Okay, uh, these were made uh, actually for uh, stage lighting and the way they're uh, designed now is that they're to be suspended from this yoke and you use one of these hooks and you screw the hook to the yoke and then you suspend the entire thing from a truss. Uh, I'm going to put uh, this yoke downwards and I want to put them on a regular light stand, such as this. But obviously this hook won't work, so I have to make an adapter to put here. And I guess I could buy them, but that would take a while, and besides it's fun making them, so I'm going to make these today. This project is actually so easy that once I get to watch the video, even I will understand what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to use this uh, piece of 30 millimeter stock. Uh, what steel quality this is, um, I don't know. This is uh, something I got from the scrap scrapyard, so this is uh, a no-name steel. We're going to chuck this up in the three jaw. I'm going to take a 65 millimeter piece out of this and I'm going to part it off so I can have it a little bit farther into the chuck here like, like so And I'll be spinning this at 1000 RPMs. I've got, let's see, 1000 RPMs set here. Okay, this is the steel I'm going to use, triangular bit. And here we go. Uh, this last cut is going to bring us down to 25 millimeters, which is uh, where I want the diameter of this. So here we go, last cut. Now I'm going to fix the hole. Uh, first, some center drilling. Thank you. 
this here. And put the Morse tapered 16 millimeter drill in here. I want to drill 35 millimeters now, approximately, so I'm going to mark that on the drill. Makes it a little bit easier. And then some lube on this. Okay, I'm going to part this off now, so I'm going to change to my parting tool. I use this one with carbide inserts. Works pretty well. And there we go. And it's supposed to be 65 millimeters. That's another, it's like right, right there, okay. What we've got now is two pieces like this, 65 millimeters long, 25 millimeters diameter, and uh, one end drilled, uh, 16 millimeter hole, about 35 millimeter deep. The other end, nothing, just a part of the surface. And now I'm going to put these up uh, in the Chaplin lathe, uh, face off the end of it, uh, and center drill, and drill them for M10 thread. I'll be tapping later. I'm going to start with uh, facing off the surface here, uh, going fast and going in here. For the center drilling, going to crank out the bit here, bring in the drill. And get a slower speed. And 
And now I'm going to drill the hole for the M10 threads. Here we go. Here we have the parts as they look so far. The holes for them, 10 threads. The 16 millimeters holes for the camera stand. And now I'd like to make uh, two flat surfaces here so I can grab these with a wrench. And I'm gonna use this uh, mill on an arbor like this. So. Then the mill goes into here, the 40 taper spindle, uh, tightened with a drawbar. Like so. And the diameter of this is uh, 75 millimeters, and uh, that's uh, 7.5 centimeters. That times P is approximately 24 centimeters circumference. And we have here, uh, we can get 87 RPMs and then that'll end up pretty close to 20 meters per minute cutting speed, which will be okay. So that's 311 and I set this to 311 here. This mill has uh, 24 cutting surfaces and I'll be spinning that at about 87 uh, RPMs. So I'll have about 2000 cuts a minute and if I'm aiming for a 20th of a millimeter per cut, I'll be uh, feeding the table at uh, 100 millimeters per minute. So I'm going to see what we can get here. Uh, this lever cranks the table feed gearbox and here we have 105 millimeters per minute and that should do fine for what we're going to do. I'm going to put this. Uh, into the chuck here. And I'm going to uh, tap the hole with an M10 spiral tap. Gonna lube it up here. I really do prefer those spiral taps to straight taps. These, you see, the chips come up all by themselves, all curly. And I know they're made for machine tapping though, but I find them pretty good for hand tapping as well.
feels like I'm getting through here. Okay. Time to back up. Yeah, nice threads, all right. Flip this around 180 degrees. Like so. And mill the other surface. some measurements and I'll crank this in a little bit Time to spin it around, 180 degrees. And mill the other surface. Excellent. I did both of the parts in the mill. Uh, I didn't film all of it because I figured if you see me do one of them, uh, you can probably figure out what it would look like if I do, did the other one. But I have both the adapters here uh, with the 16 millimeter hole with the M10 threads and the flat surfaces on the side. And the only thing left to do now is uh, make a hole from the side you kind of drill it five millimeters and then tap it uh, for M6 and that's where a wing screw is going to go. And I'm going to do this uh, next step in the decal machine. 
I brought the camera in so you can get a better view of the vise. This has jaws that clamp down so it gets gives you a very good grip on round stock and tube and stuff like that. So I'm going to clamp this down on one of the parts we made, like so. Then I'm going to do some drilling and we've got two types of collets for this decal. There's this type of collet. These go directly into the 40 taper and there's also these collets and these won't fit into the tapers so you use one of these and you just simply stick the collet into this and there you go into the 40 taper and then you screw it in and there you go and now I'm going to drill the hole for the M6 wing screw. I'm going to uh, center drill it and then drill it with a 5mm uh, regular drill. Okay, that's the hole and now I'm going to tap it. I don't have a tap follower, so I'm just going to do that here since it's all clamped up real nice. Again, using a spiral tap, which I like. And that's it. hole tap from the side, the flat surfaces, M10 hole, there we go. Uh, that was all the machining, uh, here's one of the adapters, I'm gonna put that on the lamp and see if get it on the stand so you can see how to use this thing. So the M10 screw goes into here, I put the adapter here, And then, the reason for the flat surfaces, I just use the wrench here and I can tighten the screw. Like so. Then, It goes onto the stand like so 
and all it takes now is the M6 swing screw that I'm going to pick up the next time I go to the hardware store and then this will be all set. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed making the video and see you later.